Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me on here, Instagram, TikTok, as ZA Reptiles. Today, we're doing kind of an experiment, something I've been very excited to try, but had to wait to try. As you guys know, I don't breed my animals. Most of them come from rescue situations or rehoming situations, and most of them are education animals, so not breeders. So, knowing their gender isn't super important, however, I have like one animal that I really truly do not know the gender of. Well, there's a couple. Maybe a couple. But there's one that I like really don't know the gender of. And I just had to go by what her last owner said. Even though her last owner didn't know. So I am curious and would like to know what gender Phoenix my corn snake is. Now, there's a way I can find out, supposedly, without having to do any invasive procedures like probing and that is through her shed so there's a company called rare genetics this is their website where you can send in your reptiles shed and it'll run a DNA test and give you information on their gender now it's still new they're still doing testing so there's only a couple that they actually have tests for right now those are colubrids and some venomous snakes i think yes yeah, so right now they have colubrids so king snakes corn snakes bull snakes garter snakes etc and they have venomous cobras pit vipers true vipers etc they are in the process of pythons and boas and they're hoping for single shed sex determination tests being available for some python species sometime in 2022 and they are currently working on developing tests for blue tongue skinks monitor lizards and your helodermas your gila monsters and beaded lizards but because they have tests for corn snakes right now and phoenix is like the only snake that i have that i don't truly know the sex of and she just shed hold on we're gonna send in her shed to be tested so all you need is literally a quarter size piece of their shed and you just mail it in. You want it to be flat and dry. So her is pretty dry, pretty flat. It has been probably about a week now since she shed. I keep meaning to do this and the people of TikTok are waiting for results. So I gotta hurry up and film this so I can actually like send a piece off. So we're gonna do a little quarter size piece, put it in an envelope and get it in the mail so we can get some results. And then of course I will film opening the results. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, I, I need this table. I need you to, to move for me. Thank you. All right, y'all, I apologize for the absolutely horrendous lighting. Hi, Samoa. <laughs> um, it is 9.20 at night. I am getting ready for bed, and I got an email from Rare Genetics. Results are in, so obviously this is news that I can't wait until the morning. Like, I have to know now. I am impatient, and, like, I have been waiting years to know if Phoenix is a male or a female. So before going to bed, we are gonna look at Phoenix's results and see what they say. All right, I just filmed my little snippet for TikTok saying to come here and watch this video for the results. So now I'm gonna open it because I'm using my phone so I can't really film my reaction for TikTok if I'm on my phone reading the email. So hey, if you guys are new here from TikTok, welcome, hi, hello. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay a while. Um, let's see, which email was it? I have like 10 different email accounts. Like literally I create an email account for every little thing. Haha, -ha, here it is, okay. Are you guys ready? I feel like I should, well Phoenix is like right, she's actually peeking out the corner. You guys probably can't see her, she's like right there. Let's see. She's peeking out the corner of our enclosure. She's waiting for her results. All right, Phoenix, are you ready? She almost looks a little nervous. I feel a little nervous. All right, y'all. Here we go. Rare genetics, your DNA results are in. Okay, so 
I pull it up. This is what it looks like. It's a certificate of genetic sex determination for a corn snake. And the results came in on July 6th. And I'm about to scroll down, y'all. Ready? You ready? No. No way. That is not what I was expecting. Phoenix is a male? You're a boy? What? I feel like my whole life has been a lie. Phoenix was always like, she was my little girl. She was my first snake. But she was a he. Suddenly all the flowers I have in there feel like they aren't really like working. I feel like I need to like redo his enclosure now. I'm like, I'm mind blown. I am completely mind blown like what I know zero I know everyone's like here for the news watching and we're all shocked zero what do you think you just found out your sister's your brother what about you Samoa what do you have to say well now that we have received the absolutely mind-boggling news holy cow um thank you rare genetics for giving me that information. Um, if you have any animals you are unsure of the gender of and you just want to know because why not, I highly recommend checking out Rare Genetics and uh, sending in a shed. Just remember that they do have a limited uh, type of species that they currently run tests for, but they do run tests for colubrids. So if you have any colubrids, like corn snakes, milk snakes, hog noses that you want to get tested, give it a try. And if you do, be sure to come back and let me know in the comments your results and if they were what you expected or not because this is kind of fun. Except I know pretty much, I know the gender of everyone else that I have. So my fun, I guess, is kind of over. But that was, that was fun. That was fun. All right. Well, one exciting night. Thank you guys for, uh, joining me for that very eventful evening and uh well as always thank you and we'll see you for the next video bye